haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, so I thought I'd show everybody what it is that I have been doing. I've been busy making a lot of, of my craft objects. I've been doing especially a lot of dream catchers. I have no idea how many is here, but I made all of these within the last two weeks in January. I just started making them. I was probably at one point doing ten of these a day. They just need to have feathers put on them and then they're finished. Well, a few little trimming of loose ends and whatnot, but I got a wide assortment of colors in different sizes. I also, this is my prototype one, doing it with the Dreamcatchers with deer ribs. I've seen them and I really like them, so I'm doing my own take on them. It's another dream catcher I did. I found some really nice yarn at one of the dollar stores that kind of reminded me of moss. So I used that and it looks really nice. Now this big one, in all the years I've been making dream catchers, I'd say it's probably been eight or nine years doing this style. I have not made a dream catcher for myself, so I figured it was about time I did. And this took ten hours to make. Most of the time was in the weaving itself, but also making all of the dangles, because each one of these has a knot on them, so the knotting and the putting all of the lace and the crystals and everything on it. Now my next big project, if this one took me 10 hours, this one is going to take a lot more because it's a lot larger of a hoop. You can see there, that one there, that one there. This one's going to be a lot bigger. It's one of the necklaces I have made. Put the other ones up as well. It's not hanging right, but it's coyote bone with some crystals. One's also coyote bone. This one is pretty similar to the first one. Except it has a pentacle instead of an antler. I've also been making some earrings. Now I have made more, but they're all packed up and photographed and whatnot, so I don't want to disturb them from where they are. These are the ones I've made this past week. I've also made some test tube files. If I can get the camera to focus on them. 
it's hard to see what's in them. But this one here has some maggot casings. Squirrel bones with lichen. This one here has squirrel vertebrae. Whilst I'm doing some birthstone angels with crystal. And my little curio bottles. This one is a squirrel jaw and vertebrae. They're porcupine claws. And this is the bone that is inside of the claw. mink bones. More mink bones. I have a lot of mink bones because I've been getting a lot of mink. Let's see, it's squirrel bones in this one. And that one there has a little mushroom or lichen onto the side there. There's a baculum bone from a mink. But I just got a whole bunch of little bottles made up. I'll be doing more when I get more animals processed. This is squirrel as well. That's pretty much what I've been up to. I hope you enjoy seeing some of my works in progress and finished works. I'll probably be updating you on some more stuff as it's made. Also update on the coyote. We did have a slight thaw out and I was able to get a lot of him out of the ice. I got one of his front legs out of the ice, as well as his spine and skull. Um, speaking of ice, this is the Ice Queen. I'm still not completely happy with her, there's still some more that I feel that I have to do. But she's coming along quite well. That frosting technique is working pretty well, I think. Kind of looks like a little bit of ice frosted onto her. Anyway, I should get back to crafting.